Let's look at an example of total expectation. Consider a communications network. We have two computers, A and B. A wants to send packets to computer B. In this network, let's say there are just two paths to send packets. So A can send packets to B via the blue path, path 1, or it can send packets to B via the, the red path, path 2. And let's say we know the average delay of packets across each path. So across the path 1 it's 100 milliseconds and across path 2 it's 150 milliseconds. And also let's say we know the probability of sending packets across each path. So the probability that A sends packets across path 1 is 30% uh, or 0.3 and 70% of the packets are sent via path 2. So in this system we have the event of sending packets via path 1. We know the expected value of the delay for that event, 100 milliseconds, and then we know the probability of that event occurring, 0.3 or 30%, and similar for path 2. The two paths are independent of each other. We cannot send paths a we cannot send packets across both paths uh, or a packet across both paths. They go via one or the other. And in this case, let's assume there are no other paths they can take. The packets either take path one or path two. So in this case, we can look at the total expectation. That is the total uh, average delay in the system. So we have the total expect expected value is the sum of the expected value for path 1 times by the probability of using path 1 plus the expected value for using path 2 times by the probability of using path 2. So we have values for this. The expected value for path 1 is 100 milliseconds and the probability is 0.3 or 30 percent and for path 2 it's 150 milliseconds with a probability of 0.7 and we calculate that to be the total expectation of 135 milliseconds. So in our system on average, our packets will take 135 milliseconds to get from A to B.